do a quick video um, of a scout trip today. I pretty much wanted to find somewhere around the lakes that I've been hunting where I didn't have to haul my boat all the way up here because I'm a good hour and a half to get up to this particular spot. And I wanted to find a really secluded area where I could still drive in and park and, and still be out of the way of, of other hunters. Um, and this spot in particular seemed perfect. It was about a two mile dirt road just to get here. So I just wanted to, I wanted to go over an area that I found and kind of how I dissected it. Um, now again, this all could be, you know, this all could change by the time season comes around because it's still, um, we're, we're in August right now. We've still got about a month or so before season opens, but I wanted to find more kind of feeding transition and bedding areas. And I think I found it in this particular spot. So, and I come up on this kind of a, it's almost kind of a bench. If you face to the West, it really drops off there. And as you walk up here, it's, it's pretty flat in here. And you look to my East, it's kind of a gradual incline to the, to the ridge top. And uh, so I'm kind of on that top third of this ridge. And this is a nice little white oak flat that I found. Um, it's pretty open in here. As you can see, I mean, there's not a tree within 10, 15 yards from me, but there's white oaks just everywhere. So I marked this down on, uh, on my maps as a place to, to hunt because right around whenever season starts is whenever acorns usually start falling, especially the white oaks. So after I found this and marked it on my map and wanted to figure out, you know, where the deer would be coming from, so I'd have an idea as to where to set up the stand and, and where I could, um, I can hunt on, on what particular winds. So I'm looking on the map for things that look like thicker cover and just to the north of here, and it's actually 55 yards, I marked it on my map, there's a ditch. There's a drainage that runs east and west up this ridge. The north slope, the one that faces to the north, so it'd be good on a south wind, so they could bed up on that south side with the wind going over their back. I walk over there, and there's just thick cover everywhere. And I actually end up bumping, I ended up bumping deer out of the bed. It wasn't a big buck, but it's just a perfect spot for a bed. I'm gonna show you over there what it looks like. So I'm right where I found a bed and where I jumped a particular buck right out of this bed. So as you can see, this stuff, this is like a Virginia oat, I think. It's about chest high in here. It's really thick. And the drainage goes up the ridge I was just on, right up there. And it goes all the way down to this bottom in here. So there's another ridge over there that meets down in this bottom. There's the ridge I'm on right now that goes all the way down and meets in this bottom. And as he's laying in this bed, he can look up on that ridge. I'll show you. He can look up on this ridge hillside and see what's coming. He can look up over here on this ridge and see what's coming. And he's also gonna get a lot of the, a lot of the scent that falls down into this bottom. He's gonna be able to smell it. So it's really a perfect spot for him. I'm at the, the very bottom where all these ridges meet, you know, maybe 30 yards away from the bedding area. And there's a little watering hole for them right here too. I mean, this is just a perfect spot for a buck to live. Wouldn't have to travel that far for food. Wouldn't have to travel that far for water. I mean, this is just a little paradise for them really. They've got everything they need within about 60 yards of them.